afternoon folks big Bo here with another great class a motorhome value from parkway rv center i don't know how we do it guys but man we have come across some incredible deals for a particular price point today i'm going to show you one of my all-time favorite early 2000s late 90s brands in a gas engine class a motorhome and guys these are man back in the day these things were so expensive in fact, you can buy one today like this for this price to me is pretty amazing. Today we're going to review a 2004 National Dolphin, model number 5355. And this is a 36 foot Class A gas. Uh, it's got 52,000 miles on it, two slides. And guys, the Dolphins, the Nationals made an incredible product. Uh, MSRP back in 04 prices when this was brand new was around 125 which was about 25 grand higher than its closest competitor the fleetwood bounder but it's amazing the quality you got for that extra twenty five thousand dollars of course you get what you paid for in the rv industry you pay more you get a better quality product and a few things that national does that nobody else did can be summed up in one word and that is the dura frame uh, the dura frame chassis is custom built by national the only Class A with a 100% all steel frame. I'm talking about, not counting the chassis, but I'm talking about the front, the back, the sides, the floor. Anything national built frame wise was all steel where everybody else uses steel aluminum and aluminum to cut cost. 40% stronger than aluminum frame. And uh, a particular Class C manufacturer, many of you are familiar with, known as the world's safest motorhome, also uses the 100% steel chassis, and that's the Born Free. Um, the advantages of the steel over the aluminum is less uh, rigid, or more rigid. It's not going to sway as much going down the road. When you drive a national chassis, you're not going to get all the squeaks and rattles you're used to hearing in other brands back in the early 2000s. It's got 52,000 miles. It's got a fiberglass roof, all gel coat fiberglass, side walls and roof. And you know the outside of it's going to be in typical shape for a 15, 16 year old motor home. All in all, it looks pretty good. A couple of dolphin decals, mostly on the front, are peeling just around the edges just a little bit. And you see little bit right there certainly nothing that's going to affect you using it uh, built on the w22 workhorse chassis which is the heavy duty workhorse chassis biggest gas motor most powerful gas motor you could buy in 2004 is in this coach and that's the 8.1 liter vortec v8 by chevrolet 340 horsepower 455 pound feet of torque uh, got a 5,000 pound tow capacity Allison 1000 automatic transmission. Like I said, fiberglass roof, a LumaGuard patio awning. Check this out, guys. Basement AC, just like a lot of the Winnebago's have. Basement AC, instead of the two rooftop units, you've got a two ton plus basement AC with heat pump. Um, if I remember right, it's 40% more efficient, 10% quieter than the double rooftop units. Less maintenance because you only got one unit to take care of instead of two. So, tires look good. Motorhomes not beat up, no delamination. I mean, the, the way they build these things, you hardly ever see delamination on a national product of any kind. And, you know, back then, this was the largest RV or the fourth largest motorhome manufacturer in the world. Unfortunately, like a lot of really, really iconic brands they did not survive the recession and um which is a shame you know if i was in the market for a late 90s early 2000s gas motorhome my two top brands would be winnebago and national because of the build quality and be honest with you in this year model probably national would would edge out over winnebago just a little bit um, and once you see the coach, you look inside of it, you see the build quality, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, got an air horn, it's got the power gear jacks, leveling jacks that work great. 
Uh, I've got the curved windshield, which gives you a little bit better view. And this particular one is just really in, gosh, it's well above average condition for a uh, 2004, let's just say that. Got a little bit of fading right there. Nothing bad, but but you know, any 16 year old motorhome is going to have some cosmetic flaws, guys. That's just part of owning one. Let's look inside this beautiful RV. And the quality inside is, is really second to none. We did just install a new carpet. You know, after 16 years old, obviously it needed carpet. So, professionally installed, brand new carpet. Cost you several hundred dollars, if not more, already done for you. This unit has a 7,000 watt, not, not a 5,000 or 5,500 watt Onan generator like you see in most Class A's. Upgrade 7,000 watt Onan gasoline generator and we'll make sure it runs perfectly. It does run. I'm just getting a little bit low on fuel. So Dash air, it's cool but it's not ice cold. You know, it may need a can or two of Freon but it's not hot. So right there tells me chances are it it's probably all right. Of course, you know, to find an actual functioning air on a 16-year-old motorhome, a, a dash air would be pretty rare. Power gear jacks, look at these beautiful captain's chairs, leather, perfect condition. They both swivel for party seating. There's no smoke, no pad odors. All the original electronics are in here, guys. So everything fits just like it's supposed to. Uh, it's a CRT TV, but it's a flat screen CRT. RCA television. VCR, DVD player, crossover, everything's up here. Got the defrost fans, of course. And remember, this is a fiberglass roof, so less prone to leaks and less yearly maintenance involved with a fiberglass over a rubber roof. And a whole lot longer roof life, too. Beautiful woodwork around the slide out. Notice the crown molding. Got the uh, cloth headliner with no stains anywhere that I can find. Um... Look at this sofa right here, guys, just to show you what kind of condition this RV. And you know, most older motorhomes like this, you're going to see this sofa pushed down right here in the middle or on the sides. You're not going to see those cushions nice and level like that because it just hasn't been used much. It's got dual, uh, dual pane windows. Table booth makes a bed. Sleeper sofa, and this is a solid wood table, very good quality. Look at the light fixtures, guys. I mean, you can see where that extra 20, 25 grand when this thing was new went into. Got a leather chair right here, leather recliner. You can fold this around sideways and you can fold your passenger around to face the, the recliner and you've got a, a little table work desk right here you can use. And the passengers got their own little work area right here too. For computers, TVs, you got 110 and 12 volt hookups right there for the passenger, cup holders, defrost fans, all that. So it's something you can play in and work in if you have to. Solid wood, hardwood cabinets, guys. These are these are not cheap cabinets. I mean, these are very high end quality cabinets and. And you got to keep in mind, I know this was 25 grand more than a bounder back then, but you got to realize $25,000 in 2019 prices are, is probably the equivalent of $35,000 to $40,000 today. Uh, so, you know, if you were looking at the equivalent of this brand new today and equivalent of the bounder, you're talking probably about 40 grand more instead of 25. Upgrade 12 cubic foot RV refrigerator freezer. It runs off propane electric clean works cold already getting cold look at these Corian countertops guys no stress cracks anywhere sign of a good riding chassis got the pop up counter extender right here Enamel sinks built right in. You've got a three burner stove top. 
space maker, convection oven, and microwave combination. Got a little bar area right here or whatever you want to use it for. Step through here, you've got a uh, walk-through bathroom. Lots of cabinets and drawer space. Got your two-ton plus thermostat right here. This controls electric heat pump, your gas heat, and your AC, your air conditioning system. Slide-out controls all right here. Got a thermostat control, fantastic vent fan you can control right here, monitor panel. Of course, carbon monoxide, all that good stuff. Carbon monoxide detector, I should say. Uh, sink, notice, mowing faucets. <laughs> etch glass cabinets, or etch glass to shower door. Of course, completely uh, plastic surround. Skylight looks great. No signs of water damage up there. Stains, that's always a weak spot in them. Or in any yard, it's a skylight. And it's just everything, just, man, look at that. Just steady, well built, tight. Private water closet, got the upgrade porcelain, Dometic Sea Land toilet. And just look at that. You can fit, you, that sound hollow to you. That's solid wood door. Uh, solid sliding door if you want to isolate the bedroom. Got a Queen Island bed. Man, look at all the lighting, the window treatments. Plenty of individual reading lights with their own control, own switch. You don't have to reach up and turn those off at night. Big closet right here, guys. And here's all your books and manuals and some extra stuff right here. You know, none of the glass is broken on the, on the sliding door. Got the original TV in here, of course. light fixture. Guys, this is just quality. Um, for $29.9, this is a heck of a deal, guys. Heck of a deal. I mean, um, look how thick this back wall is. Look at that. That's probably six inches across. I mean, the thing's insulated for year-round use. It's a Four Seasons motor home. Wow. Wow. I think we just ran out of propane. I had it running on propane for a minute. Yep. So this refrigerator is beeping. We guarantee that to work. Whether you buy it as is or you buy it with a complete checkout, we check the fridge, make sure it works on gas and electric operation. So, wow. Backup camera works. I mean, you know, guys, it's it's not perfect. Don't get me wrong. I mean, it's a 2004 model. The inside is about as nice of one as I've seen in a 2004 model. Outside, like I said, it's got a couple of decals starting to crack and peel a little bit, but but guys, overall, this thing is a solid nine, probably close to nine and a half out of ten, in my opinion. And believe me, I look at a bunch of these RVs, guys. I'm I'm very uh, very pleased with this one. And whoever looks at this thing, I believe, is going to agree with me. Um, if you've been looking at 04 motor homes or you've been looking at double slide motor homes for $29.9 or in that price range, you're going to be very pleasantly surprised when you see this one. I mean, for $29.9, you feel like you're buying a, a $40,000 to $45,000 motor home. I mean, it's that kind of quality. And the fact you can buy this for the same price as a 04 Fleetwood Bounder or an 04, or an 04 Winnebago or, or Coachman or something like that with two slides in this size to me is pretty amazing um, because the quality of this is I mean you're going to have to get into the diesel pusher motorhomes to get a better quality motorhome than this one right here and then be honest with you back in 04 you could probably buy a base model diesel motorhome for what this thing costs new but um, wow Anyway, guys, while it lasts, which probably won't be long, and I've done, hey guys, I've done some pretty pretty good videos last few days as far as the variety of RVs that we carry. I did a hundred nine thousand dollar motorhome, a fifteen thousand dollar motorhome earlier today. This one for twenty nine nine, a 
14 9 uh, destination trailer I mean that's just a very very small example of the variety of price ranges that we have here at Parkway RV Center and pretty much whatever reasonable price range you have I've got a nice motor home or a nice RV that'll fit it I mean wow 29.9 and guys you know even though this is an 04 even though the price on this thing is incredible for the quality and how little this thing's been used I mean low miles and everything we're still going to go through our world famous four page inspection process um, in other words guys and this is something no other dealer does you know some dealers may do the equivalent of one page they might check your propane system make sure your generator works air conditioner works all that good stuff but we take it one step further I've got a detailed four page inspection process that tells you everything that we inspect on a parkway RV like this one for the price you pay and anything we find wrong with it on this list we repair at no additional cost to you so just to put it simply for $29.9 everything on this four page sheet will be guaranteed to be functioned properly and this is done after purchase so everything's fresh you know you're not buying one that that was that was checked out a month or two before and been sitting on the lot with hundreds of people going through it um, and damaging it because chances are we'd have to do it all again anyway we do this right after purchase if you want to know the current lead time give us a call and I promise you this guys there's not another dealer in the country that ever take a 16 year old motorhome and do this to it for $29.9 there's not there's not a for sale by owner out there with an 04 for sale that would pay to take their unit with this checkout sheet to their local RV dealer and pay them to inspect and repair everything on this list and keep it and sell it for the same price that's thousands of dollars right there guys if you had it done yourself $29.9 plus tax easy simple done includes this checkout of course I've got the factory sales brochure available on my website and I'll put a link below to this four page inspection process you can see how thorough it is and I'll have a link below to our website in the video description so you can find this sales brochure and picture spec so much more than what's on the video on our website parkwayrvcenter.com like I said I'll have a link in the video description below after purchase this unit gets checked out if you know the lead time before you buy contact my salespeople if you want to know how much your sales tax will be, when and where you have to pay it, contact the salespeople before you buy for an estimate. Every state's got different sales tax laws. When and where you pay and how much you pay depends on how you're paying for it and what state you live in. My guys will give you the information to the best of their ability. But you can get that you get that inspection. And anything on that inspection that's wrong is fixed. You also get a, it gets completely cleaned up inside and out by my cleanup crew. I've got a great cleanup crew. Guys, I mean, they do amazing jobs. And it already looks nice. I mean, besides putting carpet in it and vacuuming up the carpet fibers, I mean, this is pretty much how it came in. Um, wow. But you get all that. It's cleaned up. Then after this unit's been cleaned up, we do a final walkthrough, make sure it meets our high standards. Then we call you to set up an appointment to pick up your new to you dolphin. You arrive here at the appointed time, the tech that checked it out, that knows it better than anybody is going to, or my walkthrough expert Preston, who's directly briefed by that prep right before you get it, by that tech right before you get here, is going to go through this motorhome with you and show you how to operate everything. Have a checklist, he checks off as he shows it to you, uh, so he doesn't forget everything, have you sign it at the end and of course he'll answer any questions you have show you any repairs that had to be made give you tips tricks and pointers if you're going to tow a toad or a runabout he'll help you hook that up as well that's included for 29.9 plus tax there's no dock fees no prep fees I mean you go to these other RV dealerships and they start adding thousands of dollars in fees to the advertised price They'll leave, uh, one dealer, uh, Rip Off World, charges a $700, at least the one in Chattanooga, seven or $695 happy camper fee, which I, if I had to pay $695 or $700 bucks for a fee, I wouldn't be too much of a happy camper, would you? And, uh, well, of course, we make fun of that all the time. We even have customers coming here and make fun of that. 
after they've been up there and they came and they came to their senses and come here to and, and save some real money. But they had thousands of dollars of fees, and they're not the only dealer that does that, guys. You know, uh, we don't do that, guys. It's twenty nine nine plus applicable sales tax. Easy, simple, done. Everything's included, all inclusive. The inspection, the orientation. We give you other benefits too. We give you uh, 21 nights of free camping up to seven nights at a time at select RV resorts nationwide to be used in a 12 month period. That's thousand bucks worth of free camping. Your legal drive out tag, no extra charge. Um, your starter kit, big five gallon bucket, brand new, new water hose, sewer hose, pressure reducer, chemicals, and more. 80 to 100 dollars worth of stuff that you have to buy when you buy from other dealers. Uh, Cause I don't know about you, or for sale by owners. Cause I don't know about you. I'm not using somebody else's dirty sewer hose. I'm sorry. Um, I don't care how nice they've kept the RV. I'm not using somebody else's uh, stinky slinky. So what we do is uh, we give you all that brand new, so you don't have to buy it. Other dealers usually have to buy that when you buy used RVs. Uh, we give you uh, instructional DVDs. And uh, guys, that's that's pretty 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 much uh, everything you need besides your family, food, and luggage. When you buy one from us, guys, let me put it to you this way: you buy a for sale by owner. You highly the first thing you need to take it to is a certified RV dealer to get everything inspected, your gas system inspected, uh, and all your other systems inspected to make sure it's safe to use and spend the night in uh, before you take your family out in it the first time. That could cost a lot of money or this one we do that for you everything's done guys when you buy a parkway rv it's loaded up take it to the campground start enjoying it from day one and um 29.9 plus applicable sales tax no surprise fees no jumping through hoops financing is available with approved credit down payment of course keep in mind Older motorhomes like this, you probably have to pay a little bit more money down than, than 10, 15 percent. So uh, keep that in the back of your mind. Or and we take trade-ins. Doesn't even have to be an RV. If it's something we can legally sell, something we can get a value on, we'll put a number on it, guys. And, and you know, keep in mind though, if you've got something different like a car or a truck or something different from an RV, I should say, motorcycle or boat. I'm not an expert on any of those. Uh, we're not experts. That's not our business. We don't sell them. Um, we might sell a car with a toast, a hitch, or something like that, or a pickup truck every once in a while. But most of the time, what we do, we're like that show Pawn Stars. When they get something in, they don't know what it's worth. They call an expert to appraise it, and that's what we do. So sometimes, guys, it, it, we can't give you an instant value on a trade-in. So don't get mad. But uh, we have to call and get an appraisal. And what we normally do with something different like that, we just sell it right to the person that puts the number on it for what they say they'd pay for it. So, um, but we do trade for just about anything, and we'll play along every once in a while. We'll get a boat or a car or truck in that is reasonably priced, and we'll put it out here and try to sell it ourselves. But more, more often than not, we sell it right to another dealer. So please keep that in mind if you've got something odd you're wanting to retail plus plus for it it's probably not going to happen um you know of course you know that's the thing about trades a lot of people don't realize when you trade something in you're not going to get retail value for it unless it's just a very very rare occasion it's something very desirable and valuable um but you know dealers got to like us you know we have to take your trade in and do everything to it that we do to this, clean it, put carpet in it if we need it, advertise it, sell it, all that takes time and money. So there's got to be not much, but you know, we we like to make a, you know, at least something on the trade in to make it worth our while because, you know, you know, we got a lot of money sitting in there, something that could potentially sit for months. And then we have to price it like we priced this one at an attractive low price to get people interested in it. I mean, Let's be honest with you guys, if, if this thing was priced the same as everybody else's, why would ours stand out? Besides the condition, but if this was just an average condition and priced the same as everybody else's 2004 um, Dolphin, you, you wouldn't be interested. You know, spectacular quality, incredible condition for a great price, affordable price. $29.9 guys, we'll take trade-ins, but like I said, keep in mind, you know, trade-ins are 
But in, in another way of looking at trade-ins, this is the way I look at it too. All right, most states you get some kind of sales tax credit for your trade. Um, a lot of times you figure what you're going to spend cleaning up your trade, spending the time to advertise it, taking the time off of work to show it, try to sell it, deal with all the scams that you get hit with. The time you figure what you're getting trade in and what you're saving on sales tax is probably really close, if not right at what you would probably wind it up selling it for in your own after having all that time, trouble, money in, involved in it. Where you can just be done with it, get the sales tax credit, and come out about the same in the long run. So, and save you the time and trouble. Because guys, you know, we, we're pretty lucky because everybody comes here to buy when you're for sale by owner. I mean, first of all, you're not going to get a dealer price for it because you can't offer dealer services. you got to price it about 20% less than what a dealer would ask for it because you're not going through that inspection process and orientation and, and, and guaranteed title work and all that stuff. You're, you know, you're selling it. Stuff's probably wrong with it. You're not going to fix that. So uh, you got to price it accordingly. Um, you know, a lot of people think they can get dealer price for something without offering dealer services. It don't work that way. And if, and if you pay a dealer price from a sale by owner, that's your mistake. Um, because, you know, we do everything that we do that you do not get from a for sale by owner. Guys, I I mean, guys, if you see my parts bill every month, you, you'd be astonished. Let me put it to you this way. Um, what I spend in batteries every month alone, just the batteries, is more than most people make in their job in a month. Just on batteries. Uh, the cranking and house batteries in these RVs. So guys, you know, it takes a lot of money to do what we do, and believe me, we're not getting rich on this coach at $29.9. I mean, uh, our, our markup is probably one-third of what most dealers are, and we do probably two-thirds more stuff to it than the average dealer would do on an 04 used RV. They're not going to put carpet in it. They're not going to do a four-page inspection and then sell it for this price. There's no way. Most dealers, a 16-year-old motor home, you just get take, you just get the keys, jump in it, crank it up, and drive off. You take the good with the bad. But $29.9, ready to go while it lasts. If you're interested, call before coming to look to verify availability. 706-965-7929. Uh, We're open Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturday, 9 to 5 Eastern, closed Sunday for the Lord and Family Day for my employees, so we don't open up that day for anybody for any reason. We're closed most holidays, including Thanksgiving, of course. And um, anyway, guys, come out and look at it. Come out and browse. You know, two things. We're the only dealer in a 500-mile radius with 150-plus used RVs in stock, and we're the only dealer in our area that you can simply get out, park your car wherever you want to park, and look at anything you want to look at. You don't have to go through a sales office. You don't have to have a, a, a high-pressure salesperson escort you, escort you around. It's, it's like a free RV show here. Look at your own leisure, price on the windshield. Uh, I usually have the, if somebody hasn't taken it, I usually have the factory sales brochure in every unit that I shoot a video on so you can read that while you're sitting in the RV getting to know it. And if you need anything, just poke your head in the showroom. One of my guys will come out and help you. You know, nobody has to buy an RV. This is something nobody has to have. There's no pressure here. There's no commission salespeople. Everybody here is on salary. No sales pressure, no games or gimmicks. I mean, you can just look. Come out. If you want to talk to somebody, go in and get somebody to help you. If you don't, come out, look. Come out as many times as you want and look. Keep in mind, we get about 10 to 15 units in a week. And we sell, even this time of year, we're selling about 10 units a week. I mean, guys, we're pumping through these things like crazy. Um, but anyway, guys, if you got any questions, give us a call. 706-965-7929. Very probably one of the highest quality gas motor homes you can buy right here in this national dolphin thank you for watching if you have any questions call us email us sales at parkwayrvcenter.com check out our website i'll put a link below a lot of good information on there and uh, thank you for watching my video subscribe to my channel if you haven't already um, and look forward to seeing everybody here in beautiful ringo georgia